Hello. Wow. You're squishing your child. Hi guys, it's Kaden. And this is surprise. My baby daddy. Slash boyfriend slash pain in the ass. Um, so here's the video as promised. So we're gonna talk about finding out about this pregnancy. The first trimester and you know where we're at now and all that good stuff so what was that for huh what was that for pussy what was that for pussy. anyway he doesn't take anything seriously so Enjoy this for the rest of the video. All right, so finding out. So um, I found out back in January, right? No, we found out in December. No, we found out after we, New Year's. Okay, this is the how beginning we really found of January. Out because he's acting a fool. I'm sorry. Did you peel the sticker? Did I? He was acting a fool. That's how we found out. I'd love to hear this story. <laughs> We started arguing a lot. That was not. That his was norm. not why. That was not his norm. That wasn't why though. And one day he was like, "I should take a friend." That's not how that happened. And he did. He don't stay. Came back, pops in. Okay. Told me. He don't stay again. Same thing. Went to the doctors. Same thing. Now here we are. So that's not what happened at all. <laughs> but sure. Uh, we did start arguing, I will attest to that, but that's not what made me pee on the stick. I was really tired and I kept saying, I don't know why I'm so tired. Like, I was just like, I feel run down no matter how much. And I thought it was because I was having nightmares and shit, right? So, you know, because I learned from my previous, I won't say surprise, um, Azalea, I was like, you know what? Let me just as a precaution pee on a stick. And the crazy thing is the day before I did it, we were laying in bed and I was like, you know, um, I don't want you to freak out. It's most likely nothing. Why are you on your phone right now? I was, first of all, you're telling, you're telling a story. So anyway, um, I was up. like, it's probably nothing. I was like, it's probably nothing. And don't worry about it. I just want to make sure whatever, whatever. So there's a Dollar Tree right next to my job. So I was at work, it was later on in the day, I went and bought this, this pee test and I really wasn't thinking nothing of it. And I just, I went and peed on it and I set it on the floor and I'm just like using the bathroom, la 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 la. And I looked down and I was like, oh shit. Like gagging, like fully gagging because I was like, I had to check, the, you know, the whole thing. So I went back and forth with whether or not I was even gonna tell him because like, what? I was just gonna go, you know, and call it a day and I wasn't gonna tell him. But I couldn't, I'm not lying, I was gonna do that. You know I was gonna do that. So anyway, um, I didn't, I couldn't, I just couldn't be that person. So um, I ended up telling him and you know, with the very real option that, you know, we could just not have this baby and he decided that it was something that he wanted. Um, so I was like, you know what? I want to take another test. So I took another one the next day, the next morning. That one came back positive. I happened to work where there's a clinic attached. So I went there, had an appointment there, peed on another stick, that came back positive. They also did blood work, that came back positive. Went to another doctor, to OBGYN, peed on another stick, that came back positive. So at this point, we know that I'm pregnant. It was like all downhill from there. I don't know what happened. It was like I found out I was pregnant and then I was like super pregnant. It was like, I mean, it was already happening like with the arguing and stuff like that. Like, and I got like really emotional and child just couldn't get it together. Everything made me cry. 
Everything he did hurt my feelings. Still does. It does not. I've gotten way better, and you're gonna give me my damn props. Still does. Still does. Anyway, you know what? I don't appreciate that because I've gotten better. You cannot say I haven't gotten better. I'm better. Start your feelings up. Well, because you're a bitch, but whatever. The first trimester was a shit show. We argued every day, more than once a day. Um, couldn't get it together. I felt very isolated. Not for anything that he was doing. It was just that, like, I just hadn't been prepared for any of this. You know what I'm saying? And then there's the whole, like, when I was pregnant with Azalea, I didn't find out until towards the end. So I didn't have to go through all of, like, the real pregnancy stuff. It was just like, boom, you're pregnant. Boom, here's a baby. Go ahead. This one I found out within, like, what, a week and a half or so of being pregnant? So it was like, I actually was pregnant. Um, so that was a lot for me to, you know, digest and things of that nature. And then we went to the first um, ultrasound. But it was, it was just like a little, little, like little thing. <laughs> Just a little late, a little cheapy. And he was laughing a lot then. Here it goes. And this one won't stop laughing for some reason. I'm excited. I have the little peanut. It like a little, it like a little bowl of peanut. <laughs> and you know, I don't know. How was it? You know, how was it for you? What was what was your side of? But what was your like? first trimester experience like put it this way you ever got dressed and it was you ever got dressed and it was raining but stopped raining and you pull up on the side of the road and a truck just splashes water all over you <laughs> that's not my first trimester that is horrible <laughs> right <laughs> here you go right <laughs> um it's been difficult um it's basically my first child. Um, basically? Basically, yeah. <laughs> it's basically? My first, it's my first child. <laughs> it's my first child. Um, also, like, my first experience being with a handsome man. Like, yeah. Of trans experience such as myself. You're welcome. By the way. Okay. Anywho, this is about me right now. So, gosh, tame it. Um, <clears throat> let me get up close. Oh, now. Yeah. Can you not break things? Um, just, it was difficult on that, on that, trying to, you know, adapt to that and then like finding out out of nowhere because, you know, I was seduced. Um, having a baby. Um, you were seduced. Ish. You were seduced. Gosh. Seduced? Um, How many times? Uh, Anywho. Right, um, right, right, right. Getting, you know, just adapting to that and, you know, learning him as a whole. As a whole. As a whole. Boom. And then, you know, like, oh, boom, wow, as a whole. There's a baby. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, you're funny. Um, <laughs> the whole baby experience, you know, learning hormones, that's my biggest thing. You know, I'm kind of a high head. And I, I'm very, like, passionate. So, like, I kind of go from zero to 100, like, real quick. Ain't that the word that people use when but they just got it temper hits the issues? Fans, That's more, 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 more gets the best. Like, every day, it's like the whole team. Like, every day is like, wake up, food. If there's no food, duck, hide, run, run don't even look. Don't even chew, don't even breathe, don't even blink, nothing. And he is a. I keep but trying like, to tell him, like, you, I'm creating a whole other life. I'm hungry. And when I get hungry, I get angry. I got an attitude because I don't feel good. And also, the food cravings is ridiculous. It's not that when, bad. Not, it's really not that bad, but it's like when you come from, like, from, like, when you don't, when you know a person to eat certain things, then all of a sudden they want sweets this person does not eat sweets 
so like every like all the time it's gummy like for for like a week straight it was like sour gummies like and it was that was like for dinner <laughs> like i want sour gummies for dinner oh they ate like everything that he's feeling like to like probably like for the first time like for the first trimester for like the first couple like for the first couple weeks everything that he was feeling i started feeling like the sec like the, the next coming weeks after that so like all the food cravings like he wasn't eating i was eating everything like everything like he was yeah, it was good, like he took my appetite like he was in a good mood usually i'm always like the hey and goofy one he was in a good mood i was in horrible moods don't talk to me don't you can't even say anything to me that's how I like that. what are you doing So, um, at any rate, I'm now embarking on 15 weeks pregnant, and um, I'm not. I've gotten so much better, and I really don't appreciate the fact that you don't appreciate that I've gotten better. Like, my moods are way more, instead of, like, constantly. I'm not saying they're never like that. You don't have to give all that. I'm not saying they're never up and down, but yours are. And you're not pregnant, so what the fuck is your excuse? Exactly. So, anyway, like I was saying, um, because I'm old as hell, um, I had to go... So, they do, like, later in the pregnancy, they do, like, you know, blood work and all that stuff. Can you stop? Grow up. So when you get further along in the pregnancy, you know, they do all the blood work and stuff. I think it's called like an NIT, NIIT, something like that, um, where they check for chromosomal problems and all that good stuff. Um, the great part about that is you can also find out the sex of the baby. So we were able to see the, um, well not see, because you know, it's not, the baby's not formed enough to, do an ultrasound, you know, to look at the genitals and things. Yeah. I don't want to hear nobody telling me about how I shouldn't be paying attention to my child's gender and or sex or whatever you want to call it because I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to do with my baby, or well, our baby, and that's just going to be it. If our child does determine that they don't agree with the gender that they are assigned at birth, then we will have another gender reveal. Until then, this is what it is. Where did that come from? Because I've been getting a lot of people hitting me up trying to correct how my verbiage. How about you say that? Or... No, because we're about to say what the baby is. Oh, yeah. It's time to reveal the sex of the baby. It's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having a girl your boy juju vibes failed me once again but we're just happy that we're gonna have a healthy happy baby um oh by the way by the way every tuesday on the vh1 channel we are featured in their segment. I forget what it's called. Two genders. Two cultures. Two cultures one, one couple. Wait. Two cultures, one couple. Um, it's every Tuesday. It starts at nine. Um, and so yeah, I guess the next video will be a uh, Q and A type situation. So you guys can feel free to ask any questions below in the comments. And. Uh, you know the fuck what? You know. We'll do. We'll do it. Alright. Bye.